all, the, all of you and uh, welcome. It's a great pleasure here to have both the guests from the public and the private sector. This, uh, I was all set and had all framed to be referring to Project Public Transport and then I have found out that, however, it has been changed to Project Public Ride to Work. <laughs> but, uh, I'm, I'm, I think that does describe more accurately what's happening. Transport has a kind of a connotation of a, fre uh, a freight load. <laughs> but, uh, you're accomplishing something that's very close to my heart and has been for a very long time, and that is more successful partnership between the private and the public sector. I think that has been historically the concept in this country, and I think in recent years we've drifted away from it. And, I'm delighted to see us getting back to it. I'm honored and pleased to be a part of this launching of, of that project. If it's a pilot project, which I think gives new hope and inspiration to the handicapped, can be a factor in making them more a part of the workforce. And I know that I'm talking to many of them when we were dealing with this particular problem in California when I was governor, that this is their strongest desire and what they want. And I'd like to thank the City of New York, uh, the IBM, and uh, a public partner on the federal level, the Urban Mass Transit Authority, for the roles played that have made all of this possible. And in, that's in addition to other New York organizations that I know are also involved. I also understand that the IVCO Trucks North America has donated six custom vans to supplement private automobiles to be used in this project. Hal Krentz, I know you've been working in the Vice President's office to help get this project moving. And you all deserve a big round of applause, but we don't have an audience here to give <laughs> a round of applause. But uh, believe me, I know you're being applauded very much in many circles for what you're doing here, and I thank you. And Wish you all the good fortune in the world with this, and God bless you all for what you're doing. Thank you. Well, I got a hand. Well, that hand was really good. <laughs> and now, as they usually tell me at a time like this, say, yes, I've got another appointment. <laughs> I've told some people, and maybe you've heard about this in the past, when I was very early here in the first several days, I got some wonderful letters from young people, from children. And one little girl told me all of the things that I'd have to deal with. And uh, then she said, when you leave, she said, there'll be more gray hairs in your wise old head. <laughs> she said, you could just be happy that you're just president and not God. <laughs> up with saying, P.S., now get back to the Oval Office and get to work. <laughs> so I will. But thank you all. Thank you. Thank you.